Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Bean. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a short and quick guide for you guys on how to beat the brand new Demonic Beast Croc Shell that just dropped on Global. And quick disclaimer, or I guess like quick message. Uh, it's not really recommended or I don't recommend for you guys to farm extreme or hard because it's honestly not worth it. The amounts that you have to put in the effort for the rewards isn't really that great compared to normal. However, I will be showing you guys first a free-to-play friendly team that you can use to farm normal, which is what I recommend for you guys to beat and to farm. But towards the after this first match, I'll after that I will show you guys like the Keo version of the team, which you want to use for extreme, which is again you have to use Keo and how to have Keo or either Keo or a super maxed out six out of six mon speed ult because. He gives ignites, a lot of ignites at 6 out of 6, Monspeed does, and Keel he gives ignites with his passive. If you haven't figured it, figured it out by now, you want ignites on the boss for extreme to beat him. I believe it's around 9, so I know Keel is a collab character and he's very exclusive, not everyone has him. So this is why I'm showing you guys first the normal strategy with a free to play friendly team, which everyone could probably use and do. And after that though, if you want to see how to beat extreme, just uh, it'll be in the second part of the video, so there's that. But yeah, before we hop into it though, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're currently on the road to 900 subscribers. At the time we record this video, we're at 863 subs. Also, if this video does help you out and you enjoy it, consider leaving a like on it. It really does help me out a ton. But yeah, this is the team I want to use for the normal strategy for the play friendly one. Green Liz, Green Escanor, and Green Jerry. Basically, ult rush with uh, hard hitting single target ults. If you don't have these units, then just use anyone that has a hard hitting ult. I'm just having uh, using Escanor and Jericho because many people probably have them. And ult food, so we can rush ultimate. And Liz, we're going to rush our ult as well. But yeah, basically, as I was saying, you want to only farm normal because the rewards are still pretty good. The gold box is 54% or 54 croc shell claws, which is what you want. And 46, I believe. Uh, no, 48 at the bronze box. And if you compare that to extreme, the bronze one, of course, he's going to give more at 72. But again, it's not worth it. Uh, just farm it every day, five times, and you will clear out the shop, even if you do normal. No problem. And you only have to beat it 20 times as well to get the clear missions here. So I get all these rewards. So there's that. But yeah, it's pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward. So let's get right into this. And the only thing you really need to pay out, uh, watch out, and pay attention towards for this normal fight, or for any one of the stages, uh, really, because they have the same mechanic, is that he has like this shield at the beginning, which you'll see here in a minute or in a second. And you can't really damage him. I mean, you can, but every time you hit him, you will only do one damage per hit, as you'll see here. So look, let's move that. This is what you want to do Rush Lizult. And let's burn that Jerry card. Look at that. He has a force field around him or shield. And every hit is only 1 HP of damage. So don't worry about damaging him. You're just going to rush ultimate. I have actually some pretty disgusting draw here. So that's good. But... I will... Use this. It'll merge. And if I use this, we get Escanor ult, which is very good. And he has this shield for, I believe, around three to four turns. So as soon as it leaves, uh, once it disappears, then that is when you ult with Escanor. As you see there, the buff is going to leave him, I think, this turn. He is going to ult us. He does stun you. But even if he ults your Escanor for some reason, it won't work because he is uh, debuff immune. Well, let's just do that. Look at that. Okay, after this turn is when you want to ult because he loses his shield, so then you can do damage. <clears throat> yeah, pretty uh, pretty straightforward. This is what you do, and you just do this for five times a day, and you get the croc shell claws, which is what you want. But let's uh, burn this ult a few, and let's just uh, use a Jerry ult, although we won't need it because we're gonna kill. Yep, you ult with Escanor. That's a wrap for the first phase anyways. And then we transition into the second phase of this uh, fight. Alright, so what you want to do is just ult with Jerry. 
uh, we'll burn this card and use the Lizolts. You won't one shot, but you'll just keep attacking the phase after this and then uh, finish him off. Hopefully we pull some more Escanor cards. Nice. Okay. And you just keep attacking him. If I do this, I think we should honestly have enough damage. Yep, I think we're good. And that's how you beat normal guys. Uh, you just keep attacking after you ult with Jerry, and you're good. Yeah, there you guys have it. That's how you beat and ideally farm normal. However, as I did say at the beginning, for those of you that do want to know how to uh, beat extreme with Keel, I'll be using Keel, not Mon Speed. So, if you don't have Keel, just substitute Mon Speed in for Keel. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back once I have my extreme team loaded up. So, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back, and I have everything set up for how you guys want to beat Extreme, using Keo, that is. So we're going to bring Green Escanor, Keo, and Redemon Red Demon Melee. Basically, Keo for his Ignites, Escanor for his Ignite card as well, and then Demon Melee for his Ignites. This time, though, we are going to be using Attack Food, as well as an actual team. Uh, I said for normal, it doesn't really matter, because we're not going to switch. But there is a sw substitute, like, like swap mechanic for teams, uh, which is why there's another team right here. And this is the team you want to bring to this. You want to use Sario the Kid, Green Gother, and Green Arthur. Basically, Green Gother for his passive rank ups, Sario for the main DPS, and then Arthur for his passive as well. And all of these units, both Green Arthur and Sario, are available in the Purgatory Bond banner, so you have a chance to pull them there if you don't have them. And Green Gother is also on the Fever banner, so there's a chance for you to pull them there. Attack set on Sario and Arthur, and then HP defense on Gother. All attack sets for these units. So, yeah, this is the team you want to bring. So hopefully we can do this first try, so let's uh, get right into it. Alright, but it's literally the same exact strategy almost. Well, you want to have Knight Ignites on him now. Uh, but same strategy, I mean that he has a shield, so we're not really going to do as much damage. I mean, we're going to do little to no damage. 1 HP per hit. So, yeah, let's just do this real quick. You load in, you're going to have two Ignite cards. You want to use at least three Ignite cards total by the end of turn two. So we'll burn these, use them, and then hopefully pray to RNG gods that you get another Ignite card and then you're set. And you want Kyo to survive. <clears throat> nice, we got the cards. That's good. Keeps going for my Kyo. Which sucks. Stop it. Okay, my game crashed, but I'm back. Um, let's just do that, honestly, and I can rush Eskimo ult and get some more Ignites on the guy, which is good. There we go, Eskimo ult. Fantastic. Hopefully my kill doesn't die. Um, nice, he's going for melee. Oh, we we're trying to crash again, huh? Nope. Alright, please ult Escanor. Ult Escanor. Come on. Ult Escanor, ult Escanor, ult Escanor, please, 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 please. Okay, I'm back again because my game crashed again. What can you do? But hopefully it doesn't do that again. That's the second time. Okay, but please, as I was saying, ult my Escanor. Do not ult my Kyo or my Red Demon Melee. Ult Escanor, please. Please. No, I think Melee's dead. Man. He's going to switch out. Okay, how many Ignites does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, we'll do 9. Do that. Ult him with Escanor. Kills him. 
move on to the second phase. Uh, this is honestly so, so bad. But I think we should be fine. Ideally, you want to switch with uh, Sariel, the team after this. But this this works. This works. It's just that Melee died, but this still, this still, look, yeah, we're fine. Apply some more Ignites, and then we'll ult with Escanor, and that should be a wrap. At least I hope. Okay. Alright, I'm back again. Well, what do you know? My game crashed. Well, we literally beat it, but again, <laughs> my game crashed. But honestly, this is a still, we still beat it. We're still going to beat it. It's just that, ideally, you want your Melee not to die, or anyone really, because then you have one less turn, but if Melee wouldn't have died, you would have switched to the Sariel team with the switch mechanic down here on the bottom left. You click it, press it, you switch teams, and then you would rank up, uh, you use Gotar to rank up Sariel, and then you just double card of Arthur and cleave the guy down. If not, then you just use another turn to kill him again. And then next turn after that, you use uh, level 3 cards of Sariel, Ideally, and then one shot the second phase of the second stage guy when he has the shell on his back. There you guys have it. Uh, sorry about the cuts. I did um, crash my game crash twice, but what can you do? There you guys have it. That's how you beat extreme. And again, at the very beginning, we told you, or I told you, and showed you how you can beat normal. Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider subscribing if you're new, and leave a like on the video if you did uh, find it helpful if it helped you out in any way shape or form i really appreciate it it does help me out a ton but yeah that's been it for me and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace